And we're going to skip forward a bit now into uh, Paradise, uh, the music video did for Coldplay. Uh, and we're going to show it for those of you that haven't seen it, and I don't think there will be many of you because I think it's been seen 160 million times on YouTube. Uh, but can you sort of frame, you know, um, exactly how you sort of were approached by the band to do this video, uh, a little bit in terms of introducing the video before we see it? Well, so, I've, so I went to uni with Coldplay, and when they were first, before they were Coldplay, when they were just mates, and they, at the end of the first year, they got together, and we, at different points in my life, I've lived with all of them, and um, uh, so we've been mates for a really long time, and again, we would go off and shoot stuff, which would be me and a friend pushing Chris around central London in the supermarket trolley, and just, just giving it a go, just seeing what we were doing, and um, when it came to Paradise, I got this... I remember that I'd done uh, a couple of music videos for the new album, and I got uh, a call from Chris in the middle of the night saying he was having a bit of a nightmare because they'd had two videos delivered for this new track, and he just wasn't sure. It wasn't that they were bad films, it was just they didn't quite click for him, and it was one of the most important tracks off the new album, and he just couldn't quite figure it out. But they didn't seem to have the kind of joyful fun fit feel that he wanted for the track and so um he was in south africa so he rang me up it was midnight and he said um what are you doing tomorrow do you want to come to south africa i was like, all right well what are we shooting and he said well i'll send you the track have a listen have a think so i sat down and i came up with a couple of ideas and just as i was about to send them to him i got this four page text which basically said can you bring four elephant suits a unicycle and a cameraman to south africa tomorrow morning so that's what we did. So he came, came up with the idea, and then we just pretty much made it up as we went along, which kind of was almost like a throwback to how I'd started off making music videos. So yeah, so we'll, we'll watch that music video now and then have a quick chat about it after it. If that's okay, David? The, the first question I have was, was that really Chris in that elephant suit? Was, yeah. it, was, it, was it him throughout the whole, the whole video? It was. He insisted on doing the whole thing. And he didn't even want to take his, his, uh, the elephant head off for the bit on the unicycle. We kept on asking him to do it. Me and the manager were standing by going, please, just do it at one point, otherwise no one's ever going to believe it. So we got him to do it a couple of times, but he only wanted it once in the video. Um, yeah, it was, it was amazing. I mean, he just, I, I love the fact that he's one of the most recognisable faces in England, and yeah, he didn't want his face in the video. Amazing. And so what was it like actually shooting that video? Because, I mean, was it a sort of run and gun and literally, you know, finding locations or was it like thoroughly mapped out in terms of what you were doing or was it quite, was it quite natural the way it was put together? No, it, was just com it completely, it happened on the fly. So we, we turned up without any sleep in South Africa. Me and the cameraman is a friend of mine, Chris Ross, who shoots my films as well. And we, all we had was a camera and that was it. And we knew the name of a production company who we'd never worked with before in South Africa, just to make sure that we weren't going to suddenly get stopped by the police. And we had a pickup truck. And then we turned up, and Chris had, they'd had a big gig the night before in, uh, in Durban, I think. So we just met up with him in Joburg. And Chris came down, from the, he was in the hotel, and just said, right, so what are we doing? And I said, I have no idea. And he just went, well, let's just go out and film something. And we kind of made it up. We drove out into the middle of the savannah with a unicycle and an elephant suit, and he picked one of the four, and then we just went out and started filming bits and pieces and kind of made it up as we went along, which was actually was, was really nice because it was ended up being kind of three of us just driving around and going, oh, that looks nice, or that looks nice, and just pointing at anything and making it up together. I was going to say, I mean, it's really refreshing that, you know, a, a music video for such a major band, well, not on a huge label, you know, that actually that style of filmmaking could apply. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's not exactly the case for, for most uh, music videos, but it's really great to see that the, the style of filmmaking, which is fairly indie and sort of, you know, just go out there and do it, is being, is, can be done for a, a massive band. Yeah, I, mean, I think the problem is, obviously, because with, with bigger bands, there's a lot at stake and you end up spending a lot of money. On this video, we didn't spend very much money because we, it, was exactly, it was exactly that. It was just grab a camera and, and shoot whatever's happening in front of you. The label didn't really know anything about it because they, as far as they were concerned, they'd made two videos for it, which is already double what you'd normally do. And sp presumably spent a lot of money on that because they were bigger scale videos and stuff. So it was really, it was, it was um, I suppose from their perspective, there's nothing to risk really. It's like we were just mates. But just see what happened. It might be a disaster, but it was, it was just, it was fun to do. I think, I think Chris really enjoyed it. I mean, bless them, it was like their one day off in, in South Africa, and they all trekked out with us into the middle of nowhere and just started filming, and, and no one really knew what was going on, but it was, it was yeah, it was, it was fine. I think 
from their, for their perspective, what they don't really like doing is kind of performing and acting. Like they're, they're performers on stage, and they feel comfortable when they're performing music. But a lot of music videos, especially if there's kind of a narrative in there, they expect the, you know, whoever it is, the singer, to go off and, and perform part of a story, and maybe they've got to pretend they're in love with someone, or they've got to, you know, and actually a lot of them aren't that comfortable doing that. But I think for Chris, sticking a, you know, a mask on, and immediately he, he, didn't, he could do anything he wanted.